Greetings, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. When we last left off, um, How killed our family. Killed my family, and I'm pissed. But we will get, we will have our vengeance. I'll take that family apart piece by piece if I have to. You hear me? Piece by piece. Okay, so I'm now in the ruins of Ostagar, and we are on the edge of the Kokari Wilds, and we are about to go into battle with the Darkspawn. But before I can do that, I need to formally join the Grey Wardens, so I must prepare myself for the joining ritual. Hail, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. That I am. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? I'm fine, thanks. Good luck to you, then. He's just, uh... A handy dandy guy to tell you who the hell is all in the camp, but we will see that ourselves, so we don't need him. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. Now these are Templars. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. And the mages and they keep the, the mages, mages under wraps. Interrupted. Their spirits are in the fade. Alright, alright. The fade? The fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead. Or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed, not even by Grey Wardens. I apologize, I'll go elsewhere. So yeah, the Templars keep a tight rein on the mages, and the mages are doing something. So I can't really do much with them. Having a prayer meeting over here. Good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Eh. Uh, Die in this battle and when I don't need to listen to that crap. Be over there soon. This guy is a tranquil. Welcome, young man. Who are you? I am one of the tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. Enchantment? It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. You speak very strangely. Why is that? Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Not entirely, no. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. You are no longer human, apparently. That sounds like a hard practice. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. How is someone made tranquil? Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. So it's like when they used to lobotomize people who would act up. Great. It's like dropping a nuclear bomb on an anthill. I feel badly. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? I should go. Goodbye. Yeah, you're, you know, you're not dangerous to anybody, but you're also... I don't know. You also don't have the ability to think for yourself. And that, to me, kind of defeats the purpose of being alive. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? 
I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Oh, calm down. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. He. <laughs> Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. Wow. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. I know exactly what you mean. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Would that make your day worse? Hardly. I just like to know my chances of being turned into a toad at any given moment. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit from High Ever. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. And you must be Alistair. Did Duncan mention me? Nothing bad, I hope. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. I can't prepare on my own? I know. I felt the same way when I did this. Unfortunately, they don't give us much choice. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? I No, I haven't. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. That argument I saw, what was that about? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are. Which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. That would be awkward. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. What about the other recruits? Dabith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? No, I haven't. Keep an eye out. Maybe we'll see one of them. I'm looking forward to traveling with you. You do? Huh. That's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Alrighty. So. We have our new party member. This is Alistair. And Alistair will be with us permanently for the rest of the game, I believe. And he is exactly like me. He's also a tank. Um, he has, and he's also a Templar, so he starts with a few extra abilities. Um, so yeah. I probably won't be using him much, I'll be, probably be switching him out when I get the chance. He does have that cool armor though, and I'm pretty sure I can take it from him if I want. But I'm not gonna. Cause, you know, it doesn't really make sense to story-wise, I haven't earned it yet, so. It is some good stuff though. Like, this shield has uh, extra two armor, some defense, 5% chance to dodge attacks, which is really great, and chance to avoid missile attacks, and it increases hostility. So that's a great uh, tanky thing. Yeah, all this stuff is uh, pretty good tanky stuff. Chance to 5% chance to dodge attacks. So this, this set gives you plus 10% to dodge attacks right off the bat. Good, but it's also not uh, made out of the best materials, so the uh, armor on it is actually quite low so um, there are tricks to change that but uh, um, it starts out pretty balanced it's just a really good set for this level but it's his I'm not gonna take it he'll be with me anyway so it doesn't matter so let's explore the rest of this camp oh there's a chest up here I didn't grab that was doofy And I'm off. Break it. Wow, look at all this stuff. Studded leather helm. That's nice. I don't even have a helmet yet. Flame rune and a slow rune. Take it all. Equip that helmet, actually. 
Why not? I have a Grey Warden helmet. I didn't equip that, did I? I didn't. Actually, that belongs to him. That's why you use that. And I will use the studded leather helmet. Now, you notice we don't actually have them showing. And that's another mod I have. And the reason why is because, um, you know, there's all kinds of conversations and stuff you have with people. And it's hard to, like, follow the conversation if you can't see their face. You miss all their facial ex expressions and animations and such. So, I... But I don't want to not equip helmets because they, you need them for set bonuses and stats and all that stuff. So, I have a mod that makes it so that it doesn't show the helmet. I can turn that off. It's pretty easy to do, but... So... Any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. Ah, uh, struck out, buddy. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. What'd you think I'd be? Me? I was hoping for a comely lass with golden hair and terrible eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> the name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Maybe they did. Just to give us a good scare? No, they don't really seem the type. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. The wilds. We're right on the northern edge of the Kakari wilds here, miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. Why are the wilds so frightening? Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. They're forcing you to be here? I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. So Davith is the uh, one of the other uh, Grey Warden recruits, just like me. What do you have to say? You're the quartermaster. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair. Carrying a suit of chain. What if I have? Oh, well, I'd like to know where she went, that's what. No, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Do you need help tracking this girl down? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find her myself. What kind of supplies do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me see your other goods. So long as you keep it quiet. And so he has stuff. Stuff I can buy. He has some heavy chainmail. That's nice. Soldier's helm. Slightly better, but it has fatigue. Heavy chainmail gloves. He has a whole heavy chainmail set, but it's rather pricey. I only have two silver to spend, and this is three gold for the boots. Why are the boots more expensive? Oh, it's made out of steel, that's why. Mmm. It's kind of juicy, actually. No trinkets or anything. I can buy some more poultices. I can also buy plans, uh, alchemy plans, to make other stuff, but again, this stuff's pretty expensive. What do I have to sell? Wait, doesn't he have... He has the thing. He should have the backpack upgrade, I believe. Maybe that's in his other uh, menu. But let's sell some things if we can. Um, lyrium potions. Um, I don't have anyone that uses mana yet. But I'll hold on to them, you never know. I don't use traps ever, so I'm just going to sell them. Uh, I'll keep that stuff. This axe I can sell. These daggers I can sell. This is a regular greatsword. I'm just going to sell that. Keep the family sword. Did I not equip the family sword? I didn't. What a dumbass I am. That's fine, I'll equip it now. Mace is going away. Short bows are going away. I have four short bows. See you later. 
Longbow's going away. S these are all rough, studded leather. You guys are all going away. The Blood Dragon Plate I could sell for 4 gold, which is a pretty good amount for this stage of the game, except that I want to use it later. So, if I'm going to sell it, I'm not going to sell it to him. Because I, I can always buy it back from another uh, vendor. And I know just the one. I'll sell this iron ring. I can sell these runes. I can't really use them yet, but uh, I'll hold on to them. Floor spar. I think I use these um, gems for crafting. Could be wrong. And you can sell the shields. And uh, frost rock. It's worth two silver a piece. That's five silver. Get out of that. Show me your Hello other goods. Again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Yes, let me see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Okay, so this is a different... Yeah, there it is, the backpack. So that This is how much inventory I can use. So it's at 70, now it's at 80. So now I can carry more stuff. And those backpack upgrades are kind of rare. They come up from time to time, and you want to make sure you can get them whenever you can, because you really need that space. Crossbows, from what I understand, are kind of broken, so I don't use them. I just use longbows and such. Um, I don't need stabs, staves, whatever. And this is all... There's some gray iron splint mail. That's uh, slightly better than what I have, but it's a whole gold, so I can't really afford it. Um, do, do, do. This stuff's rather expensive right now, so. But don't forget to equip the darn sword. That's a way better sword. Yeah. Much better. And uh, Alistair has a really nice sword. But he can keep it. It's his. And I... Hmm... I'll wait till I have Dabith in my group, and then maybe he can unlock that for me. And to worry about destroying whatever's inside. And yes, Dabith. Spoiler alert, in Dabith gets in my group. Day, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. So sure, let it Greetings. be. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Yes, I am Ash. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. You have the bearing of a man who knows how to fight. If I may ask, were you a soldier before you came here? I'd rather not talk about that. Oh, as you wish. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? It's all a big secret, apparently. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. So is Sir Jory's the other one. I can level up. Have I had a level up this whole time and not used it? What a dummy. Um, I'm gonna boost my cunning up now. And get my dexterity up a little bit. So I'll have the cunning for when I need it. And let's see. I do want shield block. I can also get threaten. Which I think I'll take. So Threaten is uh, is a good threat generation thing. Basically makes everything I do uh, do more threat. So that's something that we're probably going to be oh. equipping most of the time. Although it does use its sustained ability, so it uses most of my will. So I have two sustained abilities active at the moment. Shield Defense and Threaten. And that really puts my will pretty low. I can get my, my will higher uh, by increasing my will stat. Which makes sense. Wait, is, that, is that what it's called? It's called stamina. I'm sorry. I can raise my stamina by increasing my will stat, which I will do eventually. But um, for right now, I need to bump up my strength enough so I can keep using the best things. There's some elf root over here. Let's grab that. Okay. Do, do, do. Lots of stuff left to do in this camp, but let's get my party filled up beforehand. I'm actually going to save it here. Saving. Ostagar. I can actually talk to Alistair. Let's do that. Yes? You only have to... Eh. Tell me a little about yourself. Uh, as I said, I was trained as a Templar before Duncan recruited me about six months ago. The Chantry raised me. And becoming a Templar was a decision made for me. 
a long time ago. Duncan saw I wasn't happy and figured my training against mages could double for fighting Darkspawn. Now, here I stand, a proud Grey Warden. The Grand Cleric wouldn't have let me go if Duncan never forced the issue. I'll always be grateful to him. I see. You didn't want to join the Chantry. It just wasn't for me. I believe in the Maker well enough, but I never wanted to devote my life to the Chantry. You speak fondly of Duncan. I spent years in that Chantry, hopelessly resigned to my fate. Duncan was the first person who cared what I wanted. He risked a lot of trouble with the Grand Cleric to help me. I have a few questions for you. What about? The Grey Wardens. So I imagine. What would you like to know? What makes you all so special? The Grey Wardens are warriors without equal. Darkspawn threatened to destroy the world four times over. Each time, the Grey Wardens led mankind to victory. Nobody knows more about Darkspawn, and nobody's better equipped to deal with them. You'll see. Trust me. So they're knights? Heroes? I don't know if I'd go that far. Duncan says the Grey Wardens do whatever is necessary to protect mankind. Like specters. That means some pretty extreme things. Whatever it takes to bring victory. Not sure I know anything about the Grey Wardens. Well, let's see. Surely you've heard of Weisselp's Fortress? The Great Eyrie carved into the White Cliffs far off in the Anderfels? That's where the Grey Wardens once kept their griffins. The griffins died out, however, and our numbers have dwindled since the last blight. There's only a handful left in Ferelden. A few more in other nations. Where are all the Grey Wardens now? The others are camped with the King's soldiers in the valley. The King's given us a position of honor at the vanguard, despite our small numbers. I think Kaelin is actually excited to ride into battle with us. Maybe he thinks that's what his father would have done. So all the Grey Wardens have the right to recruit anyone? King Marek, Kaelin's father, reaffirmed the power the Grey Wardens were given during the Blights. In practice, we can't conscript too often without hurting our cause. We were exiled from Ferelden once. Best not to let that happen again. That's all I wanted to know. You want to ask me about something else? The Blight Duncan mentioned. Of course. So, what is a Blight? Where do Darkspawn come from? You want the Chantry's version or the truth? They aren't the same thing. <laughs> they seldom are. Give me the truth, then. The truth is, we don't really know. They come up from the ground, and that's as far as we've gotten. What's the Chantry's version? According to the Chant of Light, the Maker imprisoned the old gods underground long ago as punishment for tricking mankind into worshipping them. The old gods still whispered to some men and taught them magic. These men became the Magisters of the Tevinter Empire. The Magisters used their gift to enter the Golden City, tainting it and themselves. They were cast out by the Maker and became the first Darkspawn. They fled underground, bringing their taint to their gods. The tainted old gods were the Archdemons who rose from their prisons and led the Darkspawn against the world. So that was the first Blight? Yes, and it nearly wiped us out. When defeated, the Darkspawn flee back underground and seek out another old god to taint, thus bringing another Blight. So where is the Archdemon for this Blight? We haven't seen it yet. People are beginning to think this is just an unusually large Darkspawn raid without an Archdemon to unify them. But seriously, the Archdemon could be in the wilds or underground. It could be hiding. Just because it hasn't shown itself doesn't mean it isn't out there. Why not kill the Darkspawn when they're underground? They've controlled the deep roads ever since they defeated the Dwarven Kingdoms. Even if we invaded, we can only chase them so far. What is an Archdemon, exactly? The old gods were dragons. So the stories say. Big ones. Intelligent, even. The Tevinta Empire had big statues of them. Each dragon had a name and a place in the cosmos. It's all very intricate. The Archdemons may not be the old gods, 
But they're definitely dragons. So, we're dragon slayers. Why are some people so skeptical? The Grey Wardens killed so many Darkspawn by the end of the last blight. People decided they were gone for good. I have other questions about the blight. How do Grey Wardens defeat blights? We chop off the snake's head. It's the only way. According to texts, the most famous Grey Warden leader, Garahel, killed the Archdemon Underal in personal combat at the Battle of Aesli to end the last flight. Without the Archdemon to command them, the Darkspawn flee back underground. How did, how did anyone even know about this blight? The Grey Wardens keep watch. We feel the Darkspawn when they come. You'll understand after the joining. If you... S well, you'll understand. Nah, Not you to almost let that slip. To when Darkspawn pour out of the wilds and taint everything around them. Just a guess. Just how many Darkspawn thousands, are out there? Tens of thousands. They've had centuries to build up their numbers. That's all I wanted to know. You want to ask me about something else? Man, you've got a lot to shit to say. Tell me about Duncan. Duncan is the leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. Which he would say doesn't mean much, as there aren't many of us here. Yet, beyond that, he's a good man. A good judge of character. I owe him a lot. What about you? What do you think of him? Seems like a kind man, if firm. Fair enough. He's done the best he can with what little he has. And that includes me, I guess. You want to ask me about something else? The joining ritual. I wish I could tell you more. Maybe ask me again after Duncan speaks to you about it. You want to ask me about something else? This upcoming battle. The one tomorrow. I'll tell you. It's Tan Loghain we should be looking to win it, not the king. Kaelin just wants his place in history. The Tan is planning the strategy. Uh, that's my opinion, anyway. I guess I should be thankful the king favors us Grey Wardens. But I know who's keeping the lid on the pot. How much will I be participating? You know, that's a good question. The other Grey Wardens are riding into battle with the king. I don't know if you'll be with them. Why is it happening here, of all places? We're at the edge of the Korkari Wilds. The eye of the Blight Storm, right where the Horde will be coming. Ostagar itself is an excellent defensive position. The Wilders were pushed back from here time and again in ancient days. What are our chances of success? I'm sure Tern Loghain has the battle plan to the last detail. Still, no Blight has ever been defeated with so little cost. What if we fail? If we don't break the Horde here, Duncan says it will spread until it engulfs all the Ferelden. Then it will take an alliance of nations to fight it. Which would be bad. Neither the King nor the Tern really seems to believe this is a real blight, however. That's all I wanted to know. You want to ask me about something else? Dear God, no. I have no more questions. Then let's get a move on, shall we? Okay. That was quite a lot of exposition. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. What do we need darkspawn blood for? For the joining itself. I'll explain more once you've returned. And the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds. Abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. What kind of scrolls are these? 
old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities, with so many having forgotten their commitments to us. I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. And what if they're no longer there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. Is this part of our joining too? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. How will we find this archive? It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Find the archive and three vials of blood. Understood. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Okay, we have a party. Okay, so we have uh, Alistair and myself are both tanks. Jory is a two-handed warrior, as you can see, and Davith is a rogue. And having Davith around is very helpful, because now we can pick locks. Do that. Help. So... Let's go explore this camp, and see what you can see. Davith, get it. Look at him go. Lockpicker. Thank you, Davith. Appreciate it. Now, what else we got? Let's talk to this priest. What's up, priest? Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? No, I prefer not to. Thanks. Then be gone, heathen. Whoa! That the Grey Wardens accept the likes of you is forever their greatest weakness. Wow. Uh, I'm just not buying what you're selling, lady. You don't need to get all offended about it. Sheesh. Davith! Unlock! No, no, don't bust it open. Oh, he can't. Really? Hold on. Davith, can you really not unlock this? You can't unlock it. <laughs> so you're just going to break it. All right, hold on. Let me see their skills. Okay. So deft hands, is that what it is? Uh, yeah. And he does not have... He needs to level up before he can do it. Well, too bad. We're not doing that right now. We're breaking it open. Got some leather gloves, some cured leather gloves, no less. That's good. Actually, one second. Um, let's do a little bit of min-maxing here. Um, Jory, I think, has better armor than I do, so I'm going to unequip him. And, yeah, this, uh, where is it? Yeah, this chain mail is slightly better. It's all gray iron, so it's a little, little bit uh, beefier. So that'll help him with his tanking. And you can have the stuff I used to have. I'll give you some cured leather, leather gloves, though. Be happy you're getting that. And what does uh, our good friend Davith have? All his stuff is cured leather, so that's tier 2, so that's better. And he's got a longbow. <clears throat> And uh, we'll get rid of his daggers. I don't like to give my ranged um, characters melee weapons because they tend to just use them <laughs> when I don't want them to. They'll just run up and be like, oh, no, use your bow. Stay back, you jerk. What's, what's this guy have to say? Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. You haven't been sentenced? No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. T 
Tell me why you're in there first. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Did you desert? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. Matters to me if your cause is just. <laughs> You're a funny one. They won't listen to you no matter what you think. Not that I wouldn't mind you trying. You're a good sort. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. Why, why haven't they fed you? I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. Why would I want to help you? Because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. They didn't find the key when you were arrested? I swallowed it. But it's... Uh, come back into my possession since then, so to speak. Ew. <laughs> I'll take that, kill him, and take the key. No, I won't do that. I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. <sighs> so, you're a thief and a potential deserter, but you're hungry, and you have something I want. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. I want you a peach. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Yes, clearly you are worthy of riding with the king. Who is this prisoner exactly? They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? Why did he want to desert? Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the Darkspawn will drag you off and eat you. They kind of do do that, I think. Seems a waste for you to guard him all day. I can't just let him go, can I? The army <coughs> will figure out what to do with him. Probably just waiting for someone important to make a decision. Then they'll hang him, I expect. And I can go and do something else. I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. He asked for some food and water. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. So you miss one meal. This man's gonna hang. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. <laughs> yes, you are a paragon of virtue, you are. So? Brought me some food of you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. <laughs> I could still kill him. Here's some food. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Huh. Considering where that came from, let's hope we're not the only ones in good health. Har har. Hey, Alistair approves. So I got plus one friendship with Alistair. What's going on over here? He calls. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the Darkspawn blood. You. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. There are Grey, grey Wardens here, you know. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. What's wrong with him? Aside from his wounds, we're not sure. His blood is untainted. He's just... terrified. You... You can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. 
Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. I like how they can do that. Little little look is all it takes to convey some kind of message. Got some knights here. In Kaelin should not have called on those vile Orlesians for help. Oh, whatever. Do you want to win or do you want to die? Okay, let's let's be real here. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. I think that's all. I can, oh, I can also speak to Win if I remember correctly. I could speak to these guys, but they don't have anything to say. Pretty useless. It's the kennel master. If I didn't have the dog, if I had a different uh, starting area, I would acquire the dog through that quest. But uh, I already have my doggy, so I'm good. What's up, Win? Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. Pleased to meet you. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Will you be fighting besides the king? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. You've faced Darkspawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? What does the Fade have to do with anything? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits. Some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. So the Darkspawn are just dream spirits? Sadly, no. They are kin to neither the gentle Fade spirits nor the malevolent demons. Shamefully, they were once the souls of men. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. The Chantry says many things. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. It's actually not. It's not a 50-50 chance. It's either true or it's not, and one is more likely than the other. But it's neither here nor there. At least it's something to ponder. Actually, I'll just kill every darkspawn I see. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past, but I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Indeed. Okay. Well, let, uh... Oh, yeah. Let's go talk to uh, King Merrick. Or not King, King Merrick. King Merrick's dead. Talking to Loghain. You approach the tent of Karen Loghain. Excuse me. State your business. State your business. Is the Tyrion inside? What is he doing? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Oh, come on. You're just dying to. Surely you can tell me a little bit about him. Well, I suppose, as long as we talk quietly, he and the king have been arguing for days. You gossip. The Tern's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. I would like an audience with the Terran, please. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Not really. Hold on, then. I just want to interrupt him. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Yes, I am. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? A fascination you don't share. The Wardens are impressive, but not as relevant as Kalen thinks. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? My father was Tairn of Hyever. The King told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. 
I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I don't know. If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. And if he doesn't? Then simply pray. Well then. And this is the King's Guard. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Please leave a message. Tell tell me about the king. You must see him a lot. I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Logain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the king just waves him off. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing off for centuries. Do you think that's possible? I have my doubts. That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the king wants in the end, though. The king thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. I didn't know Kaelin was married. To the Terran's daughter, no less. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. I should go. As you wish. That was enlightening. Alright, let's loot the camp. We haven't really done much looting. Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a dark spot. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin. He's just giving them a pep talk. Thanks, Davith. So you can unlock some things, but uh, not everything. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these Darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. I agree. Now, I've heard of chainmail bikinis. Is she wearing a splint mail bikini? Or at least a brassiere? My goodness. Why not? What else we got over here? Got some sack. Yes. I do appreciate a good sack. A gray iron helmet. Ooh, that's good. It's quite scenic. My faith sustains me. I shall not fear, Tempo. Who's this guy? Hello? I I'm sorry, is there something you needed? What do you mean? I deliver messages around the camp. You have a message for me? Lie? Yes, yes I do. Then what is... Oh, wait. Are you the one I'm supposed to give Sir Garland's sword to? Because I think the smith's done with it. <laughs> so I can steal someone's sword. Uh... Now, stealing is wrong. Everyone, stealing is wrong. However, I happen to know it is a good sword. Oh, that's such a relief. You really saved me from the switch for sure. I'd best get back to my duties again before I get in more trouble. Yeah, so I just got this nice sword. I am getting some renegade points for that. Sir Garland's sword. Plus 10 physical resistance. Kind of nice. Actually, it might be better. Oh, it's definitely not better than what than Alistair's sword, that's for sure. It's all iron, gray iron, gray iron, gray iron. Why is this helmet iron? And the rest of the gray iron. Oh, who cares? Um, do I want to equip it? Let's see. Same damage, same crit chance, same armor penetration, and same strength, but it does. Two, two attack and ten physical resistance. The other one is one damage and four attack. So the Kuzlan family sword is a bit stronger and hits more often. But the Garland sword has plus ten physical resistance. And I'm not entirely sure... What does physical resistance do? Measures the character's ability to resist physical effects like being knocked down. That's kind of good. And it increases it by what? Um, hold on by 10 or 10 percent 10 so it almost double my physical resistance so I wouldn't be getting knocked down as often yeah, let's let's try it it's fairly cool looking okay 
The Kuzlin Family Sword is... Eh, it's about the same, but the Kuzlin Family Sword is more for damage. And this one is more for tanking. And we do want to make sure that Ash has the best tanking stuff available. There were lots of dark spots, different colors. Alright, so... Let's go on the other side and uh, loot that too. I'm not going to be able to come back here later after I am done with the uh, the wilds. Pretty nice. I'm actually pretty surprised that uh, I can record this, uh, this game so smoothly. I had to change some settings, but... Uh, Coming out pretty good so far. It's nice. And I'm off. These files are huge, by the way. I think this video is probably going to be upwards of 100 gigabytes, uncompressed. Some technical jargon for you. Some stuff out here. There's a soldier just chilling. Make a watch over you, my lord. You too, sir. Except for that maker part. Sax. A beef bone. That's for uh, that's a gift for my dog. Now, um, the dog. Now, each of the um, uh, companions, they all have diff they have have affection rating, and that affects um, certain story elements and uh, um, certain abilities that they get. So, if you if you get their um, their affection to a certain level, they start getting stat bonuses and such. Can't unlock it. I'll have to break it down. Um, the dog starts at max affection, so and he can't ever go down. He he loves you unconditionally. But if you give him gifts, he actually finds. If you tell him to go look for things, he'll find uh, special stuff more often. So it's not completely worthless to do. It's not a. I mean, it's not a huge deal. But there, you can get some pretty decent items. Some uh, sometimes you get magical items and stuff if you're lucky. So. Might as well. Don't have the dog in my party at the moment, but I will in a bit. Okay, I think that's it. So, I think we'll end here, and next time we'll pick up with the Kokari, the Kokari Wilds. Till next time, this is Question All the Things, and we'll see you then.